How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another Discover Wellness with Dr. David. I'm here with my good friend Ryan, a holistic nutritionalist who's going to help us discover today some ways that we can improve our cognitive function and performance using supplements and uh, which ones are bogus and which ones actually do work. So uh, welcome to the show, Ryan. Hey, David. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Um, so I know this is a subject that we've touched on in the past, but I think uh, it deserves to be delved into a little bit deeper. Um, we mentioned some things like lion's mane, which will improve nerve growth factor, uh, some different magnesium supplements that can improve cognitive function. Uh, but what are what are some of the main tenants in your cognitive supplement stack, and what are some things that you utilize, and uh, what are their mechanisms of action? Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so you mentioned. Um, we talked about it last time magnesium i can never get around it it will always be my first my staple um, i'd recommend multiple forms as well um, so i kind of brought it right here again magnesium glycinate is usually my number one go-to for everybody um, mainly because it's a two-in-one supplement um, you have the magnesium which is going to calm the muscles calm the nervous system keep your stress hormone down keep your blood pressure regulated etc then the glycine as well is shown to promote GABA, um, which will calm your nervous system the best, which is overall going to help reduce your stress and any mental, emotional distress. Um, so that's the number one foundational item combined typically with a spray form as well too, just they can take it in the skin and not through the gut. Um, just multiple form magnesium is always my go-to, but I, I like to personally combine it um, with L-theanine which L-theanine is an amino acid that comes from green tea um, that is shown to help reduce your heart rate. Um, but also, um, it, I'm trying to think of the right word for it, it modulates um, your, your glute, it's called glutamate receptors. With several types so of when receptors, we're talking about mental health, um, we've got GABA, which calms down the nervous system the most. And then on the other side of that same switch, we have glutamate, which is excitatory. It's the one that's keep, keeping us stressed constantly you know, paranoid, worried, whatever it may be. Um, the L-theanine does a great job of doing that on its own, of keeping the glutamate down, keeping your heart rate down, which is a very common symptom of anxiety, um, just the heart pounding. So that's great on its own, especially if you have a lot of caffeine um, throughout the day, just keeping everything balanced out. But with the magnesium specifically, with the magnesium glycinate, when they when they combine, um, there's, not, there's no comparison. There's really not at all. It is the number one combination that can calm down the nervous system and help with any psychiatric disorder I can think of, whether it's anxiety, depression, OCD, ADHD, the list goes on, that those are my two foundational combinations. I might take it every night before I go to bed, helps me fall asleep a lot faster, helps me stay focused in the morning. It's a miracle. Try those two out together. Um, I do personally about 400 milligrams of each at night, and I've worked my way up to 600 at some point or more. So perfectly safe, higher doses. I just encourage you to work up to a higher dose over time. Um, another great supplement just for overall mental health, we were talking about how inflammation affects mental health and our gut health. Um, this is where black seed oil is probably my favorite. Um, black seed oil is said uh, it can cure everything except for death itself. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's powerful. Um, it really can do absolutely anything for any system in your body. But the main thing it does is reduce inflammation which is great for joints, but even more so for focus, for energy, for anxiety, depression, any mental health concern that we may have, black seed oil can help. Um, at just keeping that inflammation down as strongly as possible, there really is no comparison on that level. And black seed oil itself is a good fat. Um, it's actually an omega-6, which is one of the very, very few that are not inflammatory. Um, but that kind of leads me to my next supplement, which would be fish oil. Uh, fish oil, just the omega-3s in it, the EPA, the DHA, help keep the inflammation down as well, just in a different route. Um, like I said, I personally recommend getting your whole food omegas first, you get, you know, your eggs, your salmon, your olive oil. It's just in a better form for your body to absorb, but it's essential to overall keeping your mental health intact. Um, just once again, keep the inflammation down. Your brain, it, it needs fats and it needs good fats for it to really function optimally. So I think black seed oil and fish oil are a great combo to use together, not only for mental health, but joint pain, recovery, et cetera. Um, and another one I think um, I've discovered recently, um, not recently, but in the past year or so, that has really helped me out a good bit um, is getting harder and harder to find, um, but it is called N-acetylcysteine, L-cysteine. Um, NAC is a short term for it, and it 
It's supposed to be good for hangovers, isn't it? It is. Yes, that's actually fantastic. So it <laughs> Not actually that helps. I would know. <laughs> <laughs> so it actually helps your body process alcohol through the liver much more. Um, it increases what's it's called glutathione, um, which is the main thing in your liver that really just helps process any toxins. It is the main. Um, sorry, the words is main antioxidant that your body produces. Exactly, antioxidant. Um, reducing the oxidative stress. But what most people don't realize is. If it is great for OCD, for obsessive compulsive tendencies, it is very, very powerful for that, and as well as anxiety and depression. Um, just kind of, uh, I describe OCD as like a loop in people's brains, and it's just constantly as it goes, you've got to you know, obsessively compulse to this new task, like whatever it may be. Um, it kind of stops that right in the middle and just kind of puts a pause to it, and it is proven to work amazing for it. And like I tried it myself, I definitely noticed some. Like I didn't realize I had the tendencies until I really use the consistency wow i really don't feel compulsive to do anything minor at all and another one i don't have it here with me it is called inositol powder and it is amazing um, inositol powder helps with anxiety and depression more than anything um, it, it's actually a natural sweetener so it tastes better than sugar i put it in all of my teas um, but it actually helps balance out blood sugar as well which is essential if you're really trying to control your irritability and your mood throughout the day so it's great to have in the mornings. I use it before bed um, because it kind of stops. I describe it as rumination um, or um, ideation of just, you know, you go to sleep and your brain just can't stop. You know, you're it's <laughs> thinking about what happened the day before, what's, what you got to go on the next day. Your brain just never really present. That's what it does. It helps stop. This. I have a hard time with that personally. It is amazing for that specifically. And I've seen this um, in a lot of people. Anybody who is struggling with suicidal thoughts, I'm on, God, God bless if it gets to that point, suicidal ideation can be very much helped by that. If that is, It's actually just a B vitamin, it is B8, and it is perfectly healthy in high doses up to 18, 20 grams a day. So it's very healthy. Um, it's something that we really don't get in our diets whatsoever. Um, being a B vitamin, you think you would, but it's just not, not there. And that leads me into my, um, probably my final supplement I recommend to people is a good B complex. Um, we need every single one of those B vitamins to keep our nervous system healthy and, and balanced out. And we need it to produce certain neurotransmitters like serotonin, which keeps us happy. You know, that's, they call it the happy hormone. So if we don't have the B6 to produce that, or that, another side effect is that if we don't make enough melatonin, which means that if you go, if you don't have melatonin and you won't sleep good, then you'll be stressed out the next day. It's kind of a cycle there. But yeah, B vitamins are essential. I recommend a good bioavailable complex which means that it is probably in the methyl forms, which means that it can, your body is just more readily able to absorb it. And it doesn't have to go through the processes to break it down. So yeah, I think those are probably my top go-tos for overall mental health. But one I, I think deserves a shout out, I won't touch on it for long. Um, I was mentioning something about dopamine and how everyone's just, you know, we're addicted to the screens, you know, whatever it may be. Um, something great to kind of help with that, um, it's called upregulation, it's called uridine. And I experimented with it for about three months and it helped tremendously. And um, there's plenty of antidotes out there and plenty of good research. Um, but uridine is U-R-I-D-I-N-E. And it is fantastic for anything addiction related, mental health, along those lines. Awesome. Uh, well, I have a few different uh, cognitive supplements that I take. And so I'm just going to list them out and then we can dive into them a little deeper. Uh, you can give me your opinion and see uh, what you think and what the data says about uh, some of these supplements. So uh, the first one that I take uh, that you didn't mention is ashwagandha. Mm. So I take a ashwagandha root powder extract. And from what I understand, I know it in increases luteinizing hormone, which is uh, downstream what your body makes testosterone out of. And then also it, it's a, a pretty powerful cortisol blocker to reduce stress as well and uh, upregulate up your mood and help with focus. Um, have you heard any anecdotal uh, experiences with that or do you know some of the more mechanisms of action uh, behind that yes i love ashwagandha i'm surprised i didn't even mention it that was <laughs> more so thinking along you know vitamins and minerals and less about the herbal medicines but ashwagandha is a miracle i've used it myself for years i do try to cycle on and off just so i can have a little bit more effect out of it but it has helped hundreds of thousands of people um, balancing out their stress um, like you said it helps with the cortisol which is a stress hormone and it's, it's really amazing because it keeps it where it's not, it doesn't just lower it. It doesn't just raise it. It keeps it in the, in the middle and balanced out where you actually need it to be optimal throughout the day. 
And like you said, um, by um, not only increasing the luteinizing hormone, but also by um, keeping the cortisol down, it does increase testosterone for men. And I guess technically women as well too, with the less amount that they have. Um, but it's fantastic for sleep, for anxiety, for exercise. Ashwagandha is amazing. I just recommend doing about a two month cycle then having about one month off just so you can have more effects down, down the road. Awesome. Um, another one is L-tyrosine. And L-tyrosine is an amino acid. I deploy that in the mornings when I'm intermittent fasting before I eat. Uh, it seems to give me a little bit more mental clarity uh, before meals when I am sort of lagging uh, before, before I get uh, my meal for the day or my first meal for the day. Uh, do you know anything about L-tyrosine or, or how effective that is? Or, or is it uh, bogus? Is it all in my head? <laughs> no, no. L-tyrosine, I've actually got it in my cabinet. I've experimented with it as well. Very powerful. Um, it basically helps um, the focus, the attention, which is dopamine related. Um, it's kind of increasing that. The reason I personally stop using L-tyrosine is because I find myself um, seeking more dopamine rewarding behavior i said whether it was just you know looking at my phone for a minute or trying to go for the caffeine i found that as focused as i was and it gives so much drive there's no way around it it's like i've got the focus i, I, I want to get things done and i can which a lot of people really do need so like, i'm not against it but once again it, i found it led me to be a little bit more compulsive with my dopamine seeking behavior so i try to mod modulate that but i am all for it i just think it really does depend on the person's personal biochemistry at that point and i think a lot of these things do have some bio individual responses and some individuals may have a different experience uh, but i think anecdotal experiences are very invaluable um, another one is phosphatidylserine uh, that's something that i i uh, have bone broth and uh, you get that from bone broth and then i have a phosphatidylserine uh, supplement specifically as well uh, that one has also been shown to improve physical performance as well as cognitive performance. Um, so I'd love to hear uh, what your opinion is on on that as well. Yeah, no, absolutely. That is one one of my go tos. I wish I could pronounce it perfectly every time. <laughs> That's always the mouthful. <laughs> um, but no, it is fantastic. Especially, it's something that I utilized throughout um, my college years. And I've actually, I've got a really good close friend right now in chiropractic school. He's using it just for his studies. It's fantastic. Um, I think about 200 milligrams is the typical dose for people. Um, it's very, you know, inexpensive, relatively inexpensive. And yeah, I think it's fantastic. I mean, if you're looking just for more memory, more focus, it absolutely does work. Um, I think it works in great combination with um, the EPA and the DHA and the fish oil as well, too. I think they kind of go hand in hand when you're looking for that, you know, better cognitive performance and better focus and retention. So. Awesome. Uh, well, thank you for going through all of these different supplements with us, Ryan. I think we have some really awesome information uh, that all of these uh, viewers down at home can use and actually implement and improve their cognitive performance and uh, utilize these for these important tasks that we have in life, like business meetings, uh, be it school or uh, important projects or just uh, personal hobbies that we find ourselves getting distracted uh, when we get into. And so thank you so much for your time. I uh, hope all of you have an awesome rest of your day. And uh, stay healthy out there. All right, David. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. My pleasure. It's always a pleasure to have you, Ryan.